Hello everyone, it's Adam here. Uh, this is a Husqvarna 701, and uh, these are the KTM Husqvarna OEM um, handguards. They're not the ones that come on the bike, these are the wraparounds that you can purchase from uh, the KTM Power Parts catalog uh, with a white cover instead of orange. And in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and installing the Hippo Hands Backcountry. Uh, these are smaller than the uh, Alcan and they're meant for uh, enduro dual sport riding as opposed to adventure riding. And so let's, this is a new version that came out the very end of 2020 and we're gonna uh, install it on the right side and see how it fits. Uh, keep in mind too, I've also have an Atlas throttle lock behind here as well. So we'll see how that goes. Now these Hippo hands, they are all new. Uh, and really everything about them has been changed. You have uh, reflection built in to the front and you've got a really nice uh, seam job here. Uh, solid construction. They don't collapse anymore. They're very um, formed, if, I, if you will. This piece here is, is rigid. And then you have the uh, nice rubberized uh, logo on the side. You've got really cool stitching inside with uh, this little um, uh, quilt pattern, which will hold heat in any longer as well. And then you also have a new way to mount up your uh, side pieces. And then you've got neoprene that uh, is connected super well. I mean, these are these are a league above what they had before. Uh, it looks like they also have added a little piece here, which is, um, uh, you know, sorry. <laughs> a stretchy piece here, I'm drawing a blank. And I'm guessing that means that we can slide this over the handguard. Let's try it out. I don't think that's going to fit over this handguard, though. No, it won't. Um, yeah, so we're just going to take this here. We're going to stick it on the side. Just like that. Let's come around back. I'll show you guys what we have going on in the back here. The rear. So that goes like that. This. I'm going to pull this out here. And then you can take this up that and put that down like there. That should go a little bit further. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. So that covers the mirrors right there. You've got plenty of access to all of your bits. I need to get this um, Velcro piece put up a little bit higher. I'm gonna move this Velcro piece right here uh, a little bit higher up. Uh, I think that'll that'll solve this problem where that's not holding in. So let's try that real quick. So remove, take off. Uh, they're a wider opening than the Alcan, and the reason for that is because with dual sport riding, you're going to be doing more with your arms, so uh, in your hands. So as far as the touring market goes, um, you know you, you don't have as much need for space. They're not supposed to be as big of a covering as the Alcan, but you still have full range of motion uh, here. Let's do the other side. Now on this side of the LR, uh, you'll notice that it's interrupting the uh, the fuel tank switcher and the heated grips control. There's no fault of theirs. There's a whole bunch of stuff that's on the LR. Uh, so the heated grip control, though, the USB port, and the fuel tank switcher, well, you can still kind of access it, <laughs> kind of. But, uh, I mean, every 200 miles, you'll need to peel this back and switch tanks if you're on the LR. But, uh, yeah, same thing, full controls, everything's there. Um, this is going to be, you know, life-changing for riding around uh, off-road on the, the cap ends of the season, which for me is March and November. March and November are usually, um, you know, the warmest days are going to be just below 40. Um, and so this will keep that cold off your fingers without having to wear um, winter gloves. So you can wear your really lightweight uh, summer gloves, you know, not MX gloves, but lighter weight with where you have more, more flexibility in your fingers um, while still being warm. Uh, thanks, um, Hippo Hands, for sending me these to try out. I'm going to test them for a bit and then... Uh, Maybe buy a pair for myself, but these are super nice. I love them. Uh, well built, so much better than the version one of these. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and ride safe. 